everyone. I am your produce guy and today I've got something a little bit different for you. We're going to conduct an experiment. Now the genesis of this is from our when is it ripe pineapple video where the discussion in the comments has been all about do pineapples actually ripen after you remove them from the plant. Some say no, I say yes. So here's what we're going to do. I've got three super green pineapples. Pineapple number one is going to be our control pineapple. I'm going to pop this right into the refrigerator and leave it there, hoping to suspend it at its current state of, of total greenness there. Pineapple number two, we will set out at room temperature and see what happens. And presumably it's going to ripen as it does uh, from the bottom up. So it'll turn yellow and get sweeter as it goes. Pineapple number three, we're going to test out the old produce guy's tale of taking the pineapple, removing the top and turning it upside down, allowing gravity to help pull the sugar down into the top of the pineapple so it ripens a uh, little more quickly and has more even distribution of the sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and we're going to see what happens. Today is day three of our pineapple ripening experiment. Here are three pineapples. Pineapple number one is our controlled pineapple. It's been in the refrigerator. It is nice and chilly and for the most part it is still very, very green. Here is pineapple number two. This is the one that's been out of refrigeration, top still on. It is beginning to break. The color, the gold color is starting to move in between in these veins right here right toward the top. It's, it's oh, on parts of it, it's over halfway up on the pineapple. It does not smell much, much like a pineapple, but the color is increasing. Pineapple number three, which is our top removed upside down pineapple. This one is also having nice gold color. It's still got quite a bit of green on it, but nice gold color moving up the, uh, up the fruit here. The difference here is this one is now smelling like a pineapple. So very interesting there. This is day seven of our pineapple ripening experiment. You can see after seven days the difference in the color of the three pineapples. Our control pineapple and then our on the counter with the top on and then the upside down with the top off. Looking at varying degrees of uh, ripeness there, or the nice golden color. We're going to go ahead at this point. You might be able to let them go a little bit longer, but I think in this uh, experiment it's time to test the results. So I'm going to start first with the green pineapple here. And pretty much know what I'm going to get when we open this up. Nice uh, yellow fruit. We'll take a little corner off of that pull some fruit out of there and good pineapple flavor but not super sweet not super sweet so let's go to our next one here this has been on the on the counter on the table with the top on upright we'll go through it there also a beautiful yellow color I can see some uh, nice softness around the edges there, near the skin. Uh, not such a hard fruit as the other one. Let's pull out some fruit out of this one. That is delicious pineapple flavor. A little bit sweeter than our green one, but not, not a tremendous amount of additional sweetness. All right. Our third one, our upside down pineapple with the top off. Ooh, this one looks beautiful. We'll go right through here and let's get a taste of this one. Delicious pineapple flavor, but not any additional sweetness, I would judge, than our pineapple number two. So I'm not sure that our gravity feed uh, theory did us any good on that. They're both sweeter, these two, than the pineapple that was in the refrigerator all week. But they all taste like good, delicious pineapples.
Well, after further taste testing and input from the crew, uh, we've come to the conclusion that the best of the pineapples is number two. Uh, now that may be just because it was sweeter to begin with, I don't know. But number two and number three were absolutely acceptable and delicious. And we'd take those any time. Which does go to show that you can purchase a green pineapple at the store, bring it home, set it on your counter, and it will sweeten or ripen up on your counter. Now my preference would be to always find a more gold and ripe pineapple right out of the chute at the store. But if that's not available, you can make it happen on your own at home. Well that was our little experiment there. They do sweeten up, but not a tremendous amount in this case. I'm so glad that you've been with us for our pineapple ripening experiment. I am your produce guy, looking forward to seeing you next time, fresh is best. We'll see you then. Now, pineapples are a really interesting plant, and I brought here an example of another plant similar to and in the same family of pineapples. You can see how the pineapple is with that spiky top and everything. Pineapples are from the family bromeliads, and here I brought a uh, bromeliad flower that I bought down at the store. And you can see it's got these leaves that kind of stick up and then one single flower stem that grows right right in the center of that plant. Well the pineapples are the same way. They grow exactly like that.